Hello, I'm Abhinav Agarwal. Today I'm really excited to showcase to you the Fluid Motion Gaming app. And the Fluid Motion app basically allows you to take any regular touch-based or mouse-based game and make it completely gesture controlled without a single line of change of code at the game developer's end. And what we've done is we've covered three game types. We've taken a first-person shooter like Counter-Strike, we've taken pointer-based games like Fruit Ninja, and then we've also gone ahead and taken directional-based games like Temple Run and all made them gesture control. So we've covered five titles here. So let's just go ahead and get to it. So this is our setup here. This is my laptop which is running the Fluid Motion software. I've connected uh, an LED TV just to make it a little bit clearer. And this is our 3D cam that's doing all the detection part of it. So let's get straight to it. I've launched the Fluid Motion app by clicking on the EXE. Uh, screen comes up and starts showing me all the game titles that are available. The minute I put my hand in, system detection, you can go ahead and start controlling it. So let's go ahead. Let's say I want to play Fruit Ninja mouse can pointer based game uh, just put my hand over it and the app launches that all I need to do is press W uh, to pause any gesture so that no misdetection happens while I'm launching the Fruit Ninja game uh, I just go into my Windows machine click Fruit Ninja and start it off so this is your standard Fruit Ninja that's downloaded from the Intel App App Store or the Windows Store uh, there's no modifications or anything done to it uh, so once the game is ready to go, I can just go ahead, press W again, uh, and the minute I put my hand in, uh, the detection starts. So, you know, my hand has become the pointer, and it's all completely gesture based. Now, if you see my hand position, what I've done is uh, it's it's my finger with my index pointed forward. So the minute the game starts, I can go ahead and start swiping. Uh, very easy to use, very functional, no level of training involved, uh, and really accurate and flexible. So I can go ahead and start using it. Uh, if I want, I can also play it in open hand mode. So the minute I open my hands up, so this is for more amateur players who just want to uh, play with the ease hand, uh, they can go ahead and play it. So this is uh, how you play Fruit Ninja. Um, uh, so you, you know, once you're done with it, just press W again. You go back and you're back to the application that we started with. So let's go on to the second game. It's a first-person shooter called Razor Salvatron. It's one of my personal favorite games to play with gesture control. Uh, so let's go ahead, just put my hand in and uh, select first-person shooter. Now what I go ahead and do is press W so that my gestures are paused while I start up the game. Uh, and I've preloaded this game. So it's Razor Salvatron available on the Windows Store to download. So you guys can go ahead and try it. Uh, I go ahead, press play. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, yeah, select a city, uh, so let's select New York. Now how to do this game is like a typical gun that you would play with. Uh, you just make a make an uh, imaginary gun with your finger and to shoot you need to clip it down. You can play it in both modes, whether you want to clip it sideways or clip it upwards like a real gun. So let's go ahead and start this game. Now what I do is I press W again so that my gestures start recognizing. Take my hand in uh, and I go ahead and so I have complete control now. Now this one works on a three uh, on a complete 360 degrees gaming di gaming dynamic. So I can actually spin my hand complete 360 around. Uh, so there's an enemy here who's come. I can just tap my thumb down and shoot him. So you saw that the minute I tap my thumb down, my gun started firing, and I could go ahead and shoot him. Uh, let me see if there are any other targets available while I reload. So there's a target in the background. If you can see in a little red, uh, I can zero in on him. The minute I tap my thumb down right now, I can go ahead and start firing at him. Uh, so someone approaching me again, yeah, same concept, you tap your thumb down, you can go ahead and I've shot him down. So it's that easy, I get a lot more accuracy and a lot more control uh, and it's a lot of fun to play uh, as a gaming experience, you know, so I can move around, play around, uh, blow up some barrels as well, go ahead and fire this one and destroy him, yeah. So, so that's how the entire game works. Um, the minute I want to go back, just press W, go back to my Windows screen and I'm there back on my my main Windows console uh, and back to the main Fluid Motion console. Uh, press W once again and I have mouse control to move on to the next game. So next game we're going to go ahead and try out is Temple Run. So every one of you has played it on their mobiles. It's also available on the Windows Store. And we'll play that version on um, with the making a gesture enabled. So this is the third game dynamic that I was talking about which is directional based games. So the minute I start, uh, there's a nice tutorial that we've built to actually get you uh, equipped with the game dynamics. So what you have to do is keep your hand in the center and then do a quick swipe to the left and come back to the center immediately to go ahead, a uh, quick swipe to the right for moving right, up and down, and down and below. So now it's really important that you get your hand to the center 
back really fast. Once you're ready, uh, you can just put your hand over start game to let the game know that it can go ahead and start playing it in mode. Uh, once you've done that, press W for wait again. Uh, so on the Windows Store. So let me just open Temple Run. And uh, so again, this is the standard version of the game. Uh, this is the Brave version that's available right now by Walt Disney. And you know, once the game begins, uh, I can press the play button and press W again so that my gestures start recognizing. Keep my hand in the center. For example, I want to do a jump, I just need to swipe my hand up and, it, and get it back to the center immediately for right, up. So the important thing is to get your hand in back immediately to the center so that the other gestures you can start playing. You can also move slightly to the left to go ahead and collect coins. So we've covered that part of the dynamic as well. And it's really easy to use. Uh, even my grandmom could play this. And at the same time, uh, makes it very activity oriented that you're moving your hand uh, and really getting involved in the game rather than just sitting behind and pressing keys. So moving around, selecting coins, uh, and playing with it is, uh, you can reach a really high level of accuracy and reach pretty ahead in this game, uh, equivalent to a touch experience. Uh, and at the same time building it more interactivity. So I go ahead, you can also do, uh, so with, with the left flicks, if you see, the, uh, the character shoots out. So whenever the arrow modes come out, you can actually go ahead and shoot at the arrows like I did just then. So you actually even cover those parts of the game uh, that uh, were not there, with that with touch were there, but with gestures are also there. So once I'm done, I just press W again to switch off um, the gestures go back to my main game and I can exit this application and go back to my main game console and go ahead and play the other ones. So next game we'll go ahead and play is uh, Cut the Rope. Now Cut the Rope has similar elements to Fruit Ninja where it's pointer based, although it has a little added element where you actually have to tap down the thumb to actually go ahead and do a slice. So let's just go ahead, let me press W to unlock. So the minute I go into Cut the Rope, uh, as usual, I press the W button for wait, so that gesture I'm recognized. Go ahead and open it on my Windows laptop, 8 laptop. Uh, this is again the Windows Store version of it. And we're good to go. Once we're done, I can press W again to start gesture mode. Now, similar to how we did the first person shooter, you have to keep your hands uh, in this. And when you want to slice the rope, you just tap your thumb and drag and the slices will happen. Uh, when you want to tap on play, you just again, like I did, you just have to tap your thumb. So let's start with the level. Um, so I go ahead, let me say I want to slice this and make a simple incision uh, and then I cut it. So every time I tap my thumb, the system will start slicing and I can go ahead and slice the rope. Uh, all navigation is uh, integrated within the system. So every time I tap, I can go ahead and move to next level. Uh, we can go on and do complicated levels, but you can see the ease which I do it with uh, and uh, the simplicity of the entire implementation. Uh, so you can actually go ahead and do this in various kind of environments in, in the, and uh, at various distances as well. So you're not really restricted by the, the level of uh, distance that you're holding from the screen. So that's Cut the Rope, a really neat application that's there. Uh, go ahead, press W again, go back to my main screen click on close so that I can go back to my main console and then go ahead and move on to the next game. So next app I'd like to show you guys is Subway Surfer. Now Subway Surfer works very similar to Temple Run in terms of the game dynamics but it's a lot more fast paced and the movements are a lot quicker. So it's definitely a good gradual step forward uh, to play Temple Run after you play Subway Surfer. Oh sorry the other way around. Uh, so again, the same thing, uh, you have the start tutorial, uh, we won't delve into that because the tutorial is exactly the same. Uh, I just click on start game and then I, all I need to do is go ahead and find Subway Surfer. And the same W logic applies, so if the system is misdetecting you, before you, uh, after you, while you want to go into and launch the game, you can just press W to wait and press W when you're uh, on this game screen. You take your hand in and you do a swipe and the game will start. Uh, same dynamics, I just flick my hand left, flick my hand right and I can go ahead and uh, move across. And what you can see here is that in Subway Surfer, the swipes are much faster 
than uh, what we saw in Tempuran. And our engine can actually support that level of uh, speed which the user requires in terms of when playing dynamic games like this, where you want to do multiple swipes together and quickly uh, in a very short time of uh, span of time. Giving you the real gaming experience, you know, going through back forth and, and really reaching a very high level, uh, equivalent to the levels that you would reach with touch with a lot more fun elements, you know. And this supports things like, so right now I have a jetpack on me and the, the game will still continue working, you know. So it supports all those engines, all those dynamics uh, that would be supported within a regular mode. Uh, and it's it's pretty quick to play. I won't continue playing it because I think I'll uh, not finish it. Uh, but anyway, so really good, really exciting. And that covers the entire gaming canvas that I was referring to. So what we built exactly is a game engine and we can add as many titles to this so we've done five for you guys but um, any game dynamic that works on these principles it can be adopted so we can cover all the titles within a day uh, whether it be the fps's like counter strike and the others uh, or we talk about subway surfer type games or pointer games and some games require a slight modification so for example to the cut the rope we had to add a small modification for the thumb uh, so you can drag and kick but apart from that, uh, adding game titles is a pretty big breeze to the engine. Thank you.